We're back with the Day 4 Awards for the 2014 Grammys at HorribleNight.com. Let's get rolling with the moment of the year. This is just your standout one single moment in a video game. First nominee is The Wolf Among Us. And Are we going to argue about PT some more? Please. <laughs> <laughs> PT <laughs> wasn't, wasn't on the list, but thank you, Aaron. Oh God! <laughs> uh, South Fucked South up. Park, <laughs> Stick of Truth, The Last of Us, Left Behind. Not to be it's confused it, with uh, Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz Punk. We were watching the trailer for that at work the other day for some reason. <laughs> Dragon Age for in some position. Reason. I didn't believe that it existed. <laughs> Miracles happen. <laughs> it only would have been better if it was Kirk Cameron and Nicolas Cage. Oh, God. That would have been worth seeing. But Kirk Wasn't was busy. Kirk Cameron the original Left Behind movie? <laughs> he yeah. was. Yeah. He was busy making that awesome Christmas movie. So he made the Christmas movies. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst rated movie ever. He got a zero on Rotten Tomatoes, I think. That's it's the worst movie of all time now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it shares the spot with the other movies that have gotten a zero on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, not the fact that he was out there saying, like, talking shit about it and stuff to other people. <laughs> hey, my movie. Go watch my movie. Wolfenstein. The <laughs> Kirk, Kirk Cameron. Cameron. <laughs> Wolfenstein, yeah. The New Order. Oh, or, thank you. Yeah, Wolfenstein, yeah. The New Order. It's also a nominee for a moment. The New here. Order. The New Order. Order. <laughs> Order. Order on golf. We're like the only gaming website to talk about uh, Kirk Cameron. Sunset Overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> um... If you stop talking about it, he'll go away. Kirk Cameron? God's will, <laughs> Kirk Cameron? God's will be watching. <laughs> Wait, so who voiced Iron Bull? Was it Kirk Cameron? <laughs> Is that what we said? <laughs> Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> you can do that scream one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's my moment of the year. Gotta be a video. Uh, Alien Isolation. Any other nominees to consider? Put uh, sticks on there because um, okay. it shouldn't have been a moment for me, but since I'm an idiot, <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. oh, my he'll, free, my he'll, free gift is here. He will Hold talk. On. He'll talk oh, about Lord. it when it's still in the top five. Idiot Jordan. Anybody, anybody else? Anything? That's come Crossy up? Road still alive. So this is just like it is. I'm surprised. Like I don't know if there's a it's Far Cry Four. Like just these kind of just. Your standout moments, your mem- your the things you're gonna remember about. I mean, are we talking about like? I would think multiple people, the, people the, need to experience them. The pr- yeah, the problem with Far Cry Four is that it's yeah, it's very possible that what I experienced is you won't be you'll be able to get close to it, but it won't be the exact same experience because yeah, I mean, Shadow Mordor is the same thing, right? Like, because it's yeah. it's that's why I didn't vote for it. It's a nemesis moment. Mm, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's let's but further I, define. Some I feel of these. like I shared your, uh, Justin's uh, <laughs> bright eyes shadow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all shared in yeah. on that. Oh yeah. I feel like oh, I'm a better God. person because of it. And I liked when I told Jason to try the wingsuit out, and he immediately killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, think I, I killed push, myself the first I, time I, I used a wingsuit. I didn't push the right button. Watching anyone discover those off. eagles for the first time. Oh yeah, there's <laughs> birds in general. <laughs> it's great. But no idea that that thing's in okay, the game. Okay, so let's try to further define these again. There will be some slight spoilers here, but yeah, mine's just a spoilery moment that shouldn't have been. That's not <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, right? What are you talking about? The Wolf Among Us. Oh, I, I know. He, I, that's, I thought Beauty I was and like, the Beast. No. <laughs> Why not? No. No. For best, Did we not just talk about best that? Moment. I would either Every say therein is the best. Um, a decision about the fate of of a Tweedle. <laughs> the best worst moment. Or the Bloody Mary fight. Hmm. I'm go for me. It was it was Tweedle, but that was just. I mean, that was that was great <laughs> that for me because I was just like riding my yeah. emotion to be yeah. like, I was total total big bad big, he big bad wolf yeah. mode. Yeah. So, yeah. Do we go th- can we go with the Tweedle moment? Yeah, I'd say Tweedle. Tweedle. That was the only one I saw. I didn't see the Bloody Mary stuff. Uh, Bloody Mary fights. I, is there a, is, oh. the, is there is there the, maybe the like the first scare of PT? There there is a moment in PT when uh, it's seeing crossbow Daryl at the end in the trailer when I uh, <laughs> when I argued about it. It's the fact that there's a trailer <laughs> after the the game section of it. Yeah, you put that as a moment. I would say that somebody figured out how to or beat it. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's probably a good moment. What'd you say? You the fact that the somebody trailer? figured out how to beat it. Yeah. How to actually get to the end of it. That, that was, was the moment fun. actually figuring it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, Cole, do you have a recommendation? Is for a moment for it, or do we uh, take it off? <laughs> take it 
I think you can take it off. <laughs> yeah. Take it off. I like okay, it all. South I Park. So much. <laughs> which uh, one? Which one? Yeah. <laughs> every every moment. From the what thing, I, the, the, the one I keep hearing involves your parents having sex. Uh, there's <laughs> one oh, worse than damn. that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and some and the first time I saw it, someone was streaming it, and I was like high fiving everybody. Okay. <laughs> the fact that. I can mean, they, you, can they, you give it an innocuous title? It, it, Where these a, guys will react Equestrian. To the high five moment. Foreplay. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that works. That's great. That was great. That's, that's a good moment. I've forgotten uh, that happened. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few along like that. But the that same, one, yeah. Along the same lines... The ending of The Last of Us. Yeah. Left behind. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I just, Much in the I same just like the, uh, I like the transition between yeah. those two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that happening. <laughs> the last. scene with the horse at the end. But it, do you agree it's the ending of that? The ending, yeah. Yes. Well, okay. yeah. Yes, I do. When or Ellie is dies? it the Facebook photos? Uh, both. <laughs> well, probably. They're okay, probably both I, on the same When I level. nominated it, it was the Facebook, uh, the photo booth. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if everyone's going to get the or same the kind of reaction fight. out of it. Or the, or the, or the, or yeah, the water gun. Yeah. The uh, tickle fight in your underwear. Yeah, the tickle, tickle fight. fight. <laughs> the slumber party. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll come back. Oh, uh, man, I'm just remembering a bunch of stuff. What they did with the Cabbage Patch Kids. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, jazz <laughs> punk. <laughs> credits. He's still got, he, credits is okay. I mean, you keep bringing it up, so it has to be, right? I thought it was uh, Justin and his hobo friend. That, that, was the, that was the only part that was a little bit weirder than the rest of it for me. <laughs> well, I mean, I, there, I, was, I, I guess I'm asking if something at the beginning. Hobo. Oh. Because that's Just like when it starts sweet going love a little bit sideways. Um, and, like, and I said the, mi- the mini games are great. Um, but I'm, I'm okay with the credits. Because, yeah, that is the most, like, weird. Yeah. Yeah. I liked when the guy said he'd be down in the wine cellar after you get ready to start the first mission, and he walks down what looks like stairs behind yeah. his yeah. desk. Uh, the direct <laughs> and, you, right. and you go around the back to look, and he's passed out he's like, on the floor. <laughs> he's just asleep on the <laughs> floor. Asleep under his desk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dragon Age Inquisition moments. Uh, the hitting start on new game moment. Oh shit! <laughs> Playing the game. I've heard about the that. Terror, yeah. The terrorist yeah. attack. Uh, what I like about that is that it kind of gets you from the it. It kind of shocks you in, in the moment, but then you, as the story goes on, you just realize the gravity of that situation <laughs> because it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I like it. it. Changes the world. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't hit start. Uh, Wolfenstein. Hmm. We're going back and forth, and that uh, of the. The labor camps a little that kind of stands out to me. Yeah. Um, especially with the, the trip you the go knife. on towards the end. Huh? The trip you go on towards the end. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll go road with the trip. trip. The trip. The road trip. Yeah. <laughs> the Fergus quote. The acid trip? <laughs> the acid trip. It's after end. the trip. The equestrian trip. Mm, not really. Part with the horse. Nightmares? Yeah. Oh, the nightmares! Nightmares are cool, but okay. Yeah, the nightmare was cool. I love it's like we're just talking inside baseball uh-huh. here. This <laughs> is so useful for our audience. I I almost skipped over the for some reason when I saw the nightmare area, I thought that I couldn't do that because I wasn't playing on nightmare mode, <laughs> and I just clicked on it anyway to see what happened. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit, that's awesome! Okay, I'm good. I'm good with the trip. Yeah, the trip. Um, Sunset Overdrive. My I'm going with the 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 dragon boss. Um, I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, yeah, I haven't seen that. Okay. That'll hold up really well, it looks like. Uh, gods will be watching. Uh, I just uh, That, that torture thing is going to stick yeah, with me. Yeah, the torture is... I mean, if you're not putting that down, you're wrong. Yeah. I mean, the the hostage negotiations Fighting are pretty words. stressful. Alien isolation. Equals. Equals. <laughs> <laughs> Alien is to isolation. <laughs> is there like <laughs> equal to? Is there anything beyond the aliens showing up? I heard like those androids are scary as shit. The androids shit. are freaking crazy. Those things are scary. When you find out you're an alien, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Um, With human hands. Yeah, I can't. Fingers. I really can't honestly put a certain moment down. Okay. So that might be cut. But yeah, I will. Okay, now nah, I don't want. Spo- I just don't want to spoil it. So sure. I think it's just going to get cut because I'm going to be awesome and not spoil anything because it's just totally worth it. When the, the alien shows up, when you least expect it. Toilet. 
<laughs> every time. What was that? What was that? <laughs> like you go in the bathroom and you flush the toilet to and see if it works like you do in every game and the alien comes out. <laughs> You're going to use the bathroom again. Stop talking about it. They don't, they don't call it a chest burster. They call it a butt burster. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hello, my honey. Hello. All right, time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before we start here with these cuts, um, other than you being an idiot, Jordan, I need a little bit more. So... <laughs> Um, one of your special powers in the game is you can create a clone of yourself, okay? And then you can control the clone and move them around, position them and whatnot. So the entire game, you are a clone of sticks. Except they tell you that, like at the beginning of the game, when you learn that you can make clones, because uh, you refer to the clone as a Rakesh. And when you first create a clone, <laughs> there's a voice in your head calling you a Rakesh, telling you to do something. So... Like near the end of the game, when I when I actually got sticks out of prison, I was like, "Oh, oh, wow. I was a clone the whole and time." And this didn't come up during Twist. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to talk about this. Book. Well, I guess you said they 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 told you, or they just used the word. They, they used did. the word. They did because they call twist. it they call you a Rakesh, and there's and there's no reason you shouldn't have just <laughs> pieced it together. Okay, so, but yeah, it was just one of those moments. That I mean, that was like um, the big moment in the game. Yeah, so idiot okay. Jordan does make sense there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay. But it was, the game was cooler for it, for sure. For your being I don't naive? Think, uh, for being the fact that, yeah, you're, you're just sure. another clone. You are the clone. And, so, yeah, mm. and you wake That and you're then, not actually Styx. Styx is in a prison cell talking. And then Patrick to Duffy wakes up. Because <laughs> Styx is technically. And then been Mario wakes the up. <laughs> and then Wart wakes up. A sunset of drive is getting cut. It's a cool boss fight, but. Okay. All right. Um. What else stands out here? Uh, probably the nemesis moment, just for being loose that way. Mm -hmm. Fast and loose. Man, I hate when the they're bright loose. Ice. Oh, man. Uh, oh, actually, man. I'd probably say the Tweedle moment. I mean, it was cool. Cool for me, but... He had it coming. <laughs> he deserved which, which one? Huh? Which Tweedle moment? <laughs> which, no, which, which Tweedle? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the one that was in my face. Mm. D-dumb. The one that's dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have a choice, though. Uh, I would I would vote out. Gods will be watching because you kind of know what you're getting yourself into there. Yeah, yeah. It's not really a surprise. Yeah, getting yourself into torture. <laughs> no, no. The thing, the problem is, you finally get yeah. past the first mission. You do, yeah. And you get the second one. It's like, oh god, this yeah, is get just getting. <laughs> Oh really? So the yeah. second one's just a torture. The entire thing's a torture. Scene. Oh yeah, you have to you have to like Jeez. negotiate with Jeez. the guy, and he'll like mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to judge how much pain you or your buddy can withstand. How much? So you're how, being tortured. Yes. And oh, you, I thought you were. And doing like how much torture. truth you want to tell him? Oh, okay. Versus mm. how much you fight it, and and it, and it gets strung out over twenty oh, days. Well, that's different. I mean, I like I like the torture scene. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. The way you're being tortured, and you have to like Use your microphone. The, you know, you have to push the button really fast. And are you not hearing me? No, I'm not talking into the front of it. I was talking right. to the side. Of yeah, it. you got to be right on it. I you, thought you were saying you were you, doing you, the torturing. No, no, you no. are. Why you would are. that be the best? <laughs> why? Why, why, why did you best say best moment? <laughs> the best moments doing torture. <gasps> yeah. Nothing's ever gonna you now. Um. The. the the alien thing keeps standing out to me. Just you need to delete sticks before you delete <laughs> alien. <laughs> Sounds like a cool reveal. Um, there, I mean, th th there are just so many. Honestly, the the moments that I remember from Alien Isolation have very little to do with the actual alien itself because you're not okay. You're not on a sh right. you're on a you're on a station with other people, and a lot of times those people are out to just immediately go after you. So here you are in the shadows trying to sneak around not only trying to avoid the alien, but also trying to avoid these people. And sometimes the alien can actually work in your favor if it's near you because the alien will then go after those people. And then you say, let, let, you know, let's say you lose and then you start that mission all over again. That whole scenario could play out completely different the next time around because the alien could decide yep. to come after you instead, you know, and those people could end up saving you because then they're like, Oh, what's this over here? Oh, it's an alien. Let me run for my lives. And the alien goes after them. So there's just so many crazy moments that are completely different based on whether or not you live or die. So the, the alien doesn't necessarily always affect you. It, it could affect your, the, the people that are, you know, around you too. So that's what's so, that's so, that's what's so nice about the game is that it's dynamic in that sense that 
the alien's not always after to get you. It's just after to get everyone. Okay. Um, I'm assuming South Park is a finalist. It has to be. Okay. I mean, just because... Okay. And okay. Even if it wasn't that moment, there are no, other there's so many moments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to work from the other direction here. Is there anything else we feel that strongly about? I would say The Last of Us it has some pretty strong moments. Yeah, I really liked The Last of Us Left Behind. Yeah. Oh, then you screwed me up. I screwed you up. I was about ready to cut that one. Yeah. Get out of here. But I don't know. As I, re- I really like Dragon Age, the new game stuff. Yeah, I don't know anything about these others. I could maybe. I could I could do without jazz punk. I could do without jazz punk and maybe even Wolfenstein. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that Wolfenstein's as strong as it's, it's, cool. it's not. It's not going to beat out South Park. It's cool. Um, yeah. It's also I love how nonchalant it is too. So. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can get rid of sticks. It's because this is going to be game of the year anyway. Yeah. So we can let one of these others win. You're not going to fight for sticks. No, like that's a, a cool little. Th- that, and that's just it. It's just a cool little thing that shouldn't have been a surprise. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Between, surprise you. We between oh. Dragon Age and Alien. Uh huh. I don't know exactly what you're indicating with Dragon Age. I've seen I don't know most. I've seen most of the early parts so. of the game, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Just so. Everything that the game references happens in the first second. And so, have I you not must, seen that I'm, stuff happen before? I may have. They. I mean, I was watching somebody, well, uh, I mean, somebody he, else play it, so they may have just cut it out, or I don't uh, know. As soon as it's, you hit it's, new game, is when it starts. Oh, then maybe I did. Do they see skip that. a bunch of stuff and go straight to it? Maybe. Well, let's pull no, up a I mean, video and watch no, it really quick. The, fir- the first. I think I know what you're talking about. Then, I mean, the first time. Did you like, play it? I played it, and I saw what happens right after you hit new game, but I don't get how it's moment of the year yet. I also I, haven't finished the game. I don't know if I haven't. I mean, I mean, I don't think you need to finish it to like. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. know the gravity ex- of the. Just explain why seeing it happen on new game plus. Is, it changes that entire changes universe and the, the, enti- the rest of the the all that game is very much a political yeah. struggle. And that changed the political dynamic of the entire world, and that's where the Inquisition ca- kind of comes about, too. Oh, I see. So oh, did that not, happen? Did that not okay. happen initially in your first playthrough? It happens immediately. Yeah, it's the first yeah, thing it that happens. happens. It's, it's not yeah. like a new game plus thing. It's just it's you start just, the game and a thing happens, yeah. and then yeah. there's the game. And, I then you're, and you're like when you're watching it, you don't realize the gravity of the situation, and then it's just like, oh, shit. I would still vote Alien over that then, now that I know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can't really wrap my mind around I, why I guess I so a powerful moment. Is, all right, let's, let's elaborate on the definition of the award. Is it like single moment in a game of the year? Yep. Because it sounds to me more like Alien Isolation is just like this big experience but there's not like a single. Oh, there is. Uh, there, a I just moment. can't. I just oh, okay. can't point to it. I just don't yeah, want to. You're being generic. Just, just spoil. Just spoil I have. To, okay. I just. I just have to. Okay. Because if I tell you one thing, then okay. You'll just. Yeah, no, you'll just cool. end that's up fine. playing I mean, up to that point, just expecting something, and it. You'll. You might be more disappointed by that because you just have to experience everything up until it. Okay. I mean, I love. Cool. I love me some Last of Us, but. Yeah, I mean, it got a lot of love last year. <laughs> so, so let's, I, no, no, I mean, just. No, I, like, I really. I like mean, it did. I felt like it really kind of completed. But yeah, her character. But I don't know. Like I enjoyed. I, I actually enjoyed Left Behind more than I did Last of Us. Okay. From like a duration standpoint, you had to play the whole Last of Us. It was a story, well, no, story because because Le- Left Behind was only two hours, right? Yeah, Left Behind is <laughs> <laughs> Left Behind is longer than the Last of Us. No, I in, just in I just heart. I just like <laughs> the amount of okay character development that was in Last of Us. My final right. vote has to be South Park, but I would I would okay. still fight Alien, knowing have, knowing, another, another knowing that particular moment from Dragon Age. I I just I think the Dragon Age moment is really fucking cool. Like that is just a. Well, I'll fight for Alien later. Then cut then cut the Last of Us. You guys are he's fighting for Alien. You're fighting for Dragon Age. Nobody's fighting for the Last of Us I, right now. Well, I, 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 I would choose. Are, I would it. I would oh, put I would yeah. I would put Last of Us above Alien. So just cut Alien. I'll fight for Alien later. Seriously. All right. Okay. Just happy it's in the top four. <laughs> and then South Park sounds like it wins. <laughs> because you, you're playing, you are honestly playing Alien for those moments. And you and it delivers on it every time. So it's almost not like... You're, it's not a surprise moment. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Our moment of the year is South Park, the Stick of Truth, the <laughs> equestrian foreplay. Amongst everything else <laughs> that Twitch will actually allow you to stream. 
Uh, <laughs> because it's up. a part of the game, and that's the rule. <laughs> and then runners up, The Last of Us Left Behind, the ending, and Dragon Age Inquisition, the start button. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning, <laughs> the foreplay, and then the end. <laughs> 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 I love it all. Stop that order. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is pretty funny. And look, it spells STD. <laughs> <laughs> what a happy coincidence. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. All right. Uh, next up is our best looking game. Mm-hmm. That's not contentious at all. It'll be five. It'll go five, guys. It's also not subjective. No, all. it's not. It's just <laughs> it's fact. It's not, so not based on anybody's builds or anything like that. All right. Yeah. 1080p, Let's highest graphic. 60 engine. frames per second. A yep. Dragon Age Inquisition. Okay. Call okay, of Duty. Advanced duty? Spacey. <laughs> duty. Minecraft. He said, he said duty. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I spelling all these out? Takes too long to type them. Oh, Far Cry 4. The Last of Us Left Be... No, wait. Last of Us Remastered. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference. It looked pretty. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Really? Yeah. Really? Next gen. HD. Oh, the next gen. Yeah. Did it look that much better? Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yeah. It looks really it. good. Oh, yeah. Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Here we go. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Destiny. I'll cut you if you vote for down my Child, Vroom. Child Vroom. of Light. Shovel Knight. So many nights. I hope it comes down to Shovel Knight and Grand Theft Auto V next gen. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Bayonetta 2. Alien Isolation. It's always around. This fucking thing's stalking. Gotta have a motion boards. tracker. It's tr- following The us. Vanishing of Ethan Carter. <laughs> Am I going to run out of room? Probably. Forza Horizon 2. That's the last one. No, it wasn't. No. Cross the road. You don't have any more Crossy room. Cross the road. Okay, delete. <laughs> Can't even see it. Delete Forza so you can see Crossy Road. Yep, we're going to delete Forza and then Bayonetta 2. Yeah, get rid of it. I mean, it looks good, delete but Destiny it won't too. look the best. It looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Mm. <laughs> Wii U. I would, Wii I would, I would, I would delete Destiny. It's like, just calm down. Let's just, I love, I love chill, the, I chill love the, the, I love the art of Destiny. Yeah, you go yeah. get rid of Destiny. The, it's nothing. You love the art of it eh. looks like Halo? Yeah, it's just <laughs> yep. I, I love Halo. <laughs> yep. Some new ass Halo. Fine with that. Um, well, then I you heard. should put a Master Chief collection on there, too, because nope. it looks exactly yeah, the same. No, no. It's broken. No. And no. <laughs> and broken and looking good are two different things. No, and, and Halo 4 still looks the best, but out of, the, out of that collection, so no. Okay. Okay. Did Far Cry 4 look better than Far Cry 3? Um, I mean, Far Cry 3 looked good. Yeah, I would say probably not. But Just a little bit Yeah, better. probably There's a little bit Yeah. Once you get those uh, tattoos on the elephants, that's when it really stands out. Uh, yeah. Dragon Age has its issues. It's still, it's got some, some beautiful yeah, vistas. All right, as far as... a lot of issues, frame rate issues and pop-in I, issues. I would, I would cut Advanced Warfare. Cause it digital space the cut the cut scenes looked really Try good, but the here. game itself was not yeah. that mind blowing. Did you like Wolfenstein better? Um, I'm curious. This is I thought well, I thought well, the I, I thought the cut scenes in the actual gameplay footage on in Wolfenstein scene. were were a lot closer than Call of Duty. Yeah, and I think that goes a long way. I mean, in Call of Duty, Digital Spacey looked good, but it was like they put all their effort in him. Yeah. And but yeah, the the cutscenes in Wolfenstein were all pretty mm-hmm. tight. They mm-hmm. did a good job. I had to get they blend approval. they blended them pretty good. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's see here. <laughs> it's not even on this list. What's not on the list? Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein's not on the list. I I know. Did it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about. I was like, I think I thought about adding it. I was like, we have so we'll just we'll just we'll just compare everything to the game that's not on the list. Don't worry. I would say Crossy Roads is cute. Don't fucking touch across the I road would right say now. It's a no. great looking. It's game. not the best looking it's not game. Great, best looking. It is fantastic. I've seen voxels before. It is it's a good style. <laughs> I've seen me some I, voxels. It's fantastic. I would say you could probably get rid of Ethan Carter. I like I like nominating it because it does look it's great. An amazing looking game. Yeah, I like just you just standing out like the the intro when you're walking across this bridge. Just like the I mean the out the outside visuals are really impressive. But I, I, I'm okay with giving GTA a nod. And that's as a reluctant. I, I don't. But I, does GTA look better than The Last of Us? 
Probably. Yeah. I, yeah, I think so. Really? I'm, okay, I'm okay with cutting, cutting The Last of Us. Yeah, that's fine. I guess they are. Yeah, you're kind of comparing the yeah, two. Yeah, I would they say. Are, yeah, hmm. I would say pick one or the other of those as far as our <laughs> also next gen remaster. Also, also, the fact that uh, GTA did put that first person mode in. Yeah, it did. and it just. Yeah. I mean, it's it's over the top whenever you're doing that mode with the with the high end graphics. Any thoughts here with this group, Cole? No, I think um, I really like Grand Theft Auto Five. Um, with that, like. Jason was saying with that first person mode. Mm -hmm. They could have really screwed that up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Nintendo kills it with Mario Kart 8. But I think that's something we've seen from them before, too, with uh, 3D World. World. So Mm. I don't know if it's something that. I'm already cut it yet. There are some issues with it. I don't think I want to cut it yet either. You can cut Destiny instead. I'd agree with that. Destiny just looks like Mass Effect to me. I think it's a great Mass Effect. <laughs> Destiny has its good moments. But the, I moon, also think the moon is so ugly. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking of. The moon's a pretty the ugly. Game. The moon is wow. gross. I mean, do you do you think the moon looks good as it is now? I like. I like. I couldn't get past the moon. It was so ugly. I stopped <laughs> playing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I maybe that was because I was. Maybe that was because I was, the the was bored. So the guy, I, I, I like. I, I couldn't like, return it. I bought a digital copy. I like the weapon <laughs> design. I like all. I mean, they did the. For as many problems as the loot has, the loot looks good, and the way it just alters your character, I think that's. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I like that too. Are you fighting for it? Oh, do you, do you? I was ready to cut Destiny, although I like that stuff. Okay. I feel like there are some just ugly parts. All right. Moon All right, it's not already gonna, brought up. Where, where we're at, it's not going to <laughs> make it through. Uh, what about... So I'm, I'm trying to... It looks like we're going to be down to a battle of the styles. Yeah. So right now, Alien and GTA are kind of in the same category. I would say Alien. So does know. GTA look Alien's better than Alien? Alien is the, Alien's uh, out, is out of this world, man. Alien is so, so you would because because it's it's so, over GTA? Yeah. Because it's... Oh, it's, the, it's so... Alien. <laughs> well, it is. It is so <laughs> alien, and it honestly, there are things in that game that look so realistic. They, ju- I mean, it just looks so alien seventies. And I, yeah, and I like the style of the UI and stuff like that. Oh yeah, it's yeah. in the yeah exactly the like way that looks, you bring up yeah. the screens, right, the computer, so the DOS space. The way things flicker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that, that. I mean, the the yeah, graphics, the graphics help build the the isolation world so okay. well. We're okay with cutting GTA. Uh, if mm-hmm. we keep alien, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say right. do that. Was that an agreement, Cole? Sorry. Yeah, you can. Okay. That's fine. Could. I, I mean, I'll just say kudos to them for really putting their necks out there and doing that first person thing because that could have gone real bad. So shovel knight. Yeah. I'm I like, looking. At, I like shovel knight over trial of light. I like shovel knight, but it. Uh, I'm getting to this point now where really good. I've seen a ton of really good pixel art, and shovel knight's just more really good pixel art. Yeah, I I was gonna say that you know Child of Light. It's I keep it's I keep a, wanting to play it based off of the art style. It is a yeah. it is a but, watercolor painting. But every, no, everything that I probably won't like it because of the kind of game it is. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say the opposite. I for was, I just I keep light wanting, overnight. I keep <laughs> wanting to take screenshots while I'm playing Child. You want of light, light overnight? I was thinking light overnight. All right, I mean nights <laughs> nights <laughs> more <laughs> of a <laughs> night. I mean, Shovel Knight nailed looking like an NES yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not only, but not but only, not only that, but like it's technically, yeah, the the it's technically an NES game. The way they they went, it is, yeah. it is. But that doesn't make it the best looking game. That makes it like the coolest, <sighs> the coolest game. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, cool. It's, yeah, it's cool that they did that and that they pulled it off and it looks so. Uh, so it, and, and it's <laughs> but like <laughs> next next to all that other I just stuff. See trial, I would, when I see Trial of Light, I just see Ubi Art, mm. and I'm just like, okay, more of that. Look up, was, then I, cut both I've of them. I've liked Rayman for a yeah, for I cut, both of cut them both, and we have Alien, Crossy Road, and Mario Kart. Crossy Road. Crossy though. Road. I don't, I don't agree with Crossy Road. <laughs> I don't give a shit because he just said what we can do, and it wins. <laughs> well, I just said no. I just don't know why. I'm, I love fucking Cross. I love Cross. I love. Cro- I like Crossy Road more than Mario Kart, as far as the, it's just its style. So, I like. The, I don't um, know. Mario I've Kart seen all eight. these, so I get, actually feel like I can talk to most of these. Okay. I would get rid of Mario Kart. I think Mario Kart looks great. I do too. I think it looks great, but I just don't know if what I was you, expecting anything different. What do you put in its place? Me? Yeah. I think Child of Light looks good. Okay. It, I mean, it's I just it's got, a, it's got a unique. 
art because, style to it. Because it took and Nintendo kind of so long to become HD, <laughs> everybody just gets excited by HD Nintendo games. Mm-hmm. That's this my is, feeling. This is the it. HD Nintendo it game. All its fucking replay shit and... You get to ex- explore it, but if but if we would have saw fucking good, if we would have saw HD Nintendo at the time, we should have seen HD Nintendo. Well, no, that doesn't matter. It would matter. be the well, look would be old by now. Yes, it would, but it, we're but not, yeah, we don't live in that. time. We would have talked about it back then. I if guess. you'd like to create a fictitious world, and we can vote on <laughs> our like to paint a new world. Don't all the Wii U games kind of look the same? Like that, the sheen that's on them, like that. But they're still just getting possible going. Possible one one or whatever, and then that. And game, this one, this one up Mario 3D World. And I thought more, and I liked it a Those lot better like than Smash Brothers. Cartoons. Yeah. Yeah, Smash Brothers. Just and the track, I love the track design and, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's all that too, the anti-gravity. Okay, so yeah. I don't hear anybody else clamoring for Shovel Knight. Yeah. So. yeah. so. Okay, I love Crossy Road. Is anybody else, is anybody else as anti-Crossy Road as Jordan? I would remove Crossy Road. Okay. I would my, before my I would vote, anything else. Yeah. My vote would be remove Crossy Road or Mario Kart. What the fuck? So pick. I'm so indifferent to Child of Light. I don't... Uh, call, uh, tell me I'm not crazy about Child of Light. You're crazy, man. Well, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good looking Child game, man. Child of Light's a great looking game. Yeah, it is a good looking game. I would take off Crossy Road as well. Ah! <laughs> Boom. Crossy Road shouldn't be here. It should not. It got here. Yeah, it should not so be. It got to the top four. Yeah. It just nails what it needs to do. <laughs> it does, it's but that doesn't make it, that makes it that makes it a great game, not a great. I'm looking. playing it right now. It's great. <laughs> it's like you love, <laughs> I love Cole's enthusiasm. But it doesn't look better than Mario Kart, Child of Light, or Alien. He has spoken. <laughs> he doesn't speak but a lot, he so yawned. when he speaks, we have to listen to him. <laughs> Does Alien win? <laughs> yeah, it has to. Yeah, I'll go with Alien win. I'm fine with that. It's got style. All right, Sorry, Luigi. Dude. No one's saying different. So. Sorry, Luigi. Know, I I said, man, the other is a dog in this game. <laughs> Plays Frankenstein. <laughs> the other thing. <laughs> the, the other thing about Alien that is so awesome is the dust. Already won. I know. <laughs> but the the Stop. don't be bitter, Justin. Just let him talk. <laughs> but the lighting effects in the dust just adds a whole different layer. To, I mean, it's just crazy. It sure. just everything looks used, and it's awesome. Best used game. <laughs> Def- definitely. Brought, brought to you by GameStop. Right, best looking game. <laughs> Alien Isolation, runners up Mario Kart 8 and Child of Light. Yeah, Child of Light. Child of Light. Child Child of Light. Yeah. Can I just put in Valiant in Hearts instead of Child of Light? Same thing. I mm-hmm. I would be I I actually almost nominated Whoa. Valiant Hearts. What about PT? Nah, Child of Light looks better. But yeah, I like <laughs> Child of Light better. <laughs> Child of Light's all right. Sorry, Shovel Knight. Are you still writing this sh- shit down? Yeah, I've been, I've been writing it down. <laughs> You're good, man. You're good. Like, hey, he stopped after the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Once all this other shit started winning, I'm like... <laughs> he's been making... No it, records. Yeah. Yeah. He's writing stuff down, but he's changing all the winners. <laughs> so congratulations. Best looking game, Mario Kart 8. <laughs> <laughs> had a tough bat. had a tough yeah, mountain tough to climb. Mountain. Did it. <laughs> Next up is our early access oh, slash Lord. beta of the year. Here's your category, Jason man. Can Jason, finally take it away. Just rip my so, shirt off. I don't think I played any early access. Except I played all of them. <laughs> I played all Destiny. Played. This is up in the air. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> is it still early access? As far as it did, on it. did the early access period have to start day. this year, or do we just say we're looking at the year? I think we have to look at the year. Okay. Because there are I've, some games that that fit into this year. That really excelled. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm all for what was your best early access experience or yeah, because pre-game. that's the whole point of the category. Best pre gaming. <laughs> that's what we're gonna start calling pre-gaming, it. Pre gaming gaming. Yep. Best yeah. pre gaming. Uh, best best pre gaming gaming. Uh, Destiny. That's the first one you thought of, right? Nope. <laughs> Evolve. <laughs> Evolve was good. Crypt Evolve. of the Necro Dancer. You playing Crossy Road, Cole? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I already got my free gift. I got mine too. The Long Dark. Because mm. I know nothing about early access. Vagante? <laughs> I will educate Vigante. you. Am I saying that right? I don't yeah. play games yeah. until they're finished. Did you play that, Jason? Vagante? Yeah. Uh, I've, I've played seen played it, yeah. Okay, this. I played it. Vagiant. Rim World. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rim World's Gang cool. Beasts. Oh, gang Beasts. Gang Beasts. That's good times right Hack there. Hack and Slash. <laughs> I think they're like a beta might be, or early access might have been better than the final game. Former. Action platform. Bro Force. Ooh, Bro Force. Uh, I'm gonna still put Mighty Number no. Nine on the like list. 
Anybody else want to throw out anything? Looking at you, Jay. <laughs> um, early access. Nope. Okay. Or does it, is Mighty Number no. Nine playable, or does that not matter? Yeah, it's playable. Oh, I didn't realize that. It's basically done at this point. He just kept re- releasing stage by stage oh. by stage. I didn't realize that. It was a very good early access experience for me oh. as, a, as a backer. I backed it. Maybe I didn't back it uh, enough. I backed it too I don't much. Know. Let's be <laughs> honest here. It's not Mega Man. It's fine. Okay. Uh, nobody has anything else to add. Oh man. Well Look then, at Coop I go. Uh, Crossy. Oh, what the damn bird? <laughs> Can we stop damn playing dro- Cross the Road? Um, first <laughs> one in my sights is Hack and Slash. I think it was fun when they like were literally you could break the game by pl- breaking the game. Uh, the that was fun information. Hacking. Yeah, it was. That game's so much more fun in theory. Yeah, so. in theory, it seemed like a fun idea. Okay. Uh, I would maybe cut evolve. It was fun, but it wasn't like. Here's the reason why I'll cut it. Because when we tried to play it and we tried to play yep, it together, it was impossible. Yep. Yep. I didn't yep. play the most recent one, but yeah. Impossible. I played the first. I didn't have any problems, but. Well, we were just trying to play together oh. in the same group, and it just did not happen. Yeah. It, it was it was good enough to confirm that I wanted to buy but it. I, yeah. But, but I like, yeah. I like the mechanics. I didn't. Yeah. It didn't blow me away. All right. So let's run down. I mean, I think Gang Base is so much more playable this year and so much more fun. I don't know. Like, I like the game Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I, like I don't it. know how their early access is, experience is really. I haven't really been paying attention to it. Like, if they're doing. I don't think they're making a big splash. Yeah, I don't know if anything's changed. A lot of these other games out. are like. It's kind of the support side of it or the constant updates. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm not seeing that with Necro Dancer. It's just. It is what it is, and it's good. Yeah. I don't understand why it's not out yet, but yeah. it's really good. That's, yeah. that's very true. Necro Dancer probably speaks to me, or it's one of the games on this list that speaks to me the most, but in terms of being early access beta of the year. Like, it came out, it was there, and then I've heard... Or yeah. yeah. I've right. not been compelled right. to look more into it. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Starbound came out a little bit stronger. Ethan wrote about the Long Dark. So, Vagante, I don't even... I don't know a damn thing. So, I played... <laughs> <laughs> just defer to me. Anybody? So, yeah. no? so Vagante, uh, it's like a platformer, roguelike... And you just, you pick a class, you kind of go down into these caves, and you fight monsters, and you level up, and it it looks really good. It's got a nice style to it. It's got bow and arrow, so that's a plus always. Mm-hmm. No elephants though. No, unfortunately, exactly. not yet. So not in caves. They can get on it. Cave elephants. <laughs> cave elephants. Get on those elephants. A possibility. Cave elements. So it just sounds like a game that I would enjoy, and, and I heard about it early on before it made it onto Steam's green light, I believe. So now it's available through early access there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I just, I just happened to find out about them through maybe some other site's list of games to look into. And it just seems like a really solid game, something that I'm probably going to buy soon or when it comes out. Cool. I don't think it holds up necessarily okay. just some of those, though. But, um, yeah, in terms of some of these other games, I get, just describing it now, I don't know if there's... There's no hook that I feel that mm-hmm. I can really... You know, put in your guys' minds that will make Vagante. You're not going near my mouth either, so. <laughs> That's where, at the hobo's property. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cutting Vagante. <coughs> that game looks real cool. I, I just saw. I just. I'm just looking through this list. There's so many other games I want to fight uh, for Bro over Force. Oh, over Mighty Number no. Nine. I'm not gonna really. The. So fight can we? Can we? Sp- I'm fighting for Bro Force because Bro they Force. can't fucking update and that Bro thing Force looks is right. amazing. Can we talk about Destiny? Because you didn't buy into that. You just played the beta, so it won't even be ter- technically early access or August beta it's of the year. Beta. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> see that? Slash I don't care. And the- beta of the year doesn't matter to me. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, I mean, so <laughs> so that, many for that, so many people were convinced that Destiny was just going to be this incredible me, thing. It brought me back to video games. Like mm-hmm. I took a couple months off, and that was the thing. It was like, all right, let's oh, go. Yeah, that, cause you, that was that alpha. You I'll help you uh-huh. guys out by eliminating the long dark because really? because the Ethan only really yeah, but there's only a sandbox mode available. All right, the storyline is not okay. in, built in yet. That's not yet. And yeah. you um you literally hit a wall within about. I thought wolves kill you. <laughs> they do, and they you just well. <laughs> You know, you just kind of hit a, a, a. I can't do anything. Oh, you can't else. do anything new, but just survive until it's over. And okay. even that's impossible because the amount of resources that are oh, put you, in the world so you for you will just die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so it's a really good uh, visceral experience in terms of uh, playing the game. The art style is really great. Um, but yeah, in terms of a- actual playability, if you don't 
like sort of go in and read the wiki and learn every little bit oh, of that, okay. you're just not going to squeeze every bit out of it yet, just yet. Just Unlike yet. these, there's there's other games here that are a lot stronger. But it's, it's I can see that it's certainly a game you need to support because it just looks great, and it's actually kind of spurred off a couple of other games, uh, like Firewatch is another one that looks a lot close to that. Okay, which looks really that's, really good. It's by somebody. That's I can't remember who it's by, but I've I've kind of been keeping track of it. They've done some other games. I forget who they are. I think yeah, it might be the West Coast. They're in. Washington, I think. Oh, whatever. Um, okay, so Starbound, what I know is like the, doing those daily yeah, so, builds or weekly builds. Okay, or? so nightly builds. Nightly builds. And and the fact that they, the fact that a developer will allow you to play their game as they develop it is pretty balls awesome. I mean, it's just crazy. Balls awesome. Oh yeah, nuclear throne. <laughs> That's another good one. You re- you reminded me of balls awesome. Balls so. awesome. Uh, the, well, and and the, the only the only issue with playing those nightly builds is that it has a very good possibility of breaking your character, which is done to mine now as I yeah. was recording it. Still, um, but still, the fact that um, they're they're adding a lot of uh, progression quest progression into the game that was really missing, which was really kind of what a lot of people um, didn't like about the game. But they still you don't have to do the quest; you could still roam around planets. But you, uh, the fact that you can do. Uh, just about anything you can the, your ship upgrades now so you can actually get a much bigger ship as you progress uh, throughout uh, the worlds are uh, completely different they've added a couple new characters uh, they're really working on the combat system whereas instead of the uh, like let's say a mob comes at you it doesn't have to be occupying your same space it can actually be in front of you and still attack you which was re- which is really way better than it was before because you you were kind of OP before Um so, but I would say that Star- Starbound, and compared to what it was at this time last year, is night and day. Yep. That's not, I mean, I've, I've gotten that impression just from kind of following the news and seeing other friends pick it up. Mm-hmm. Do you feel stronger about Starbound or RimWorld? I feel strong about both. Okay. I mean, I, I really do. RimWorld is a you could play it now, and it's a pretty much a complete game. Um, it reminds it, me a lot of Prison Architect. Yeah, it's it, it, the style and a little bit of the architecture is kind of like Prison Architect, but uh, the fact that Prison Architect or the fact that RimWorld uh, every character has their own unique traits and you have to just live with it. So like, let's say one guy's like super lazy and you have to like, you just have to have somebody to do a job and you send him over and he starts mining and he just ends up dying. <laughs> You're just screwed. I mean, there's, there's so many scenarios in which you can just completely screw yourself or it just creates so many random comedic moments. Um, and there, and there's an AI storyteller built into the game that sort of brings the difficulty as you like gather. characters that are naked. If you don't clothe yeah. them, they, uh, it changes their mood. Yeah, their moods are all affected. and It feels sexier. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's, yeah. Just, it's just a really fun game that, like, honestly, if I wasn't recording it for my YouTube channel, I would just get lost in it. The fact that I have to stop, like, after 20, 25 minutes is the only thing saving me from just playing this game all the time. What about Timber and Stone? Uh, I just recently got back into it. They've sort of overhauled it quite a bit. I haven't really dove into it yet. Um, it's not on our list. So. It's not on the list. I didn't vote for it um, simply based on the fact that the development was kind of dark for about Stalled. six months. Yeah. There was They were definitely doing stuff behind the scenes, um, but the, in terms of actually being able to play it as a regular user uh, just did not exist. Not to the point that Star World or Starbound and, and Wormworld did. Cole... Yeah. Your impressions of the Destiny beta. It made me really excited for the okay. game okay. and set me up for the huge disappointment that it okay. was. That's fine. I, for Same some here. reason, I thought you were indifferent to the beta, so I just want to make sure. No, I had a lot of fun in the beta. It All was right. good, but the result of that. And if it comes down to us voting That's out taste. Starbound or Rome World, I can make a choice, but let's just not get there yet. Uh, yeah, I mean, I Game gonna... Beast took over for a little while and Bro for, like Bro Force. I'm more impressed with their constant updates, and because they just keep adding characters and adding. Well, they actually they actually follow through with what they were kickstarting. Yep. Like it's 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 kind of rare for nu- somebody to do that. Nuclear Throne isn't really any different than yeah. last year. I didn't think so. But they're still kicking ass. So so one I'm one okay question I want to ask, just yeah. to clarify the award a little bit, is your experience at you cannot wait to play the final version is really how well, i read it is we we keep talking about how you know we love starbound we love rim world and we love bro force because they updated all the time is what makes 
the game good the fact that it's updated or is them updating it all the time does that make them a better is that more of like a reason why they should be like a a top indie studio i don't think rim world has actually really updated as much as let's say starbound um it's just a really good game and i don't think bro force is actually that much fun even with the uh, what are they adding other than just new characters that's what the game is (laughs) bro force is fun you're wrong (laughs) i think it's It's fun. fun multiplayer it's fun yeah i don't we played it once together on a uh, on a ho night, but I just yeah. don't know. I just I keep it. looking at Destiny, thinking that it's just it's kind of sticking it's out for me as a sore thumb, because that's kind it, of what you expect out of a major studio. Yeah, but I, I, I but I also really but I also but agree with you guys that yes, it was the reason why a lot of you yeah. went next gen, mm-hmm. and why I just desperately wish it came out on PC. But now I'm kind of glad that it didn't because I didn't waste money on a new console because you, of your disappointment. Where are you, Coop, between Bro Force and Gang Beasts? I like Gang Beasts this year because they finally made it playable and they seem to be making progress with it. Um, yeah. Like I said, Bro Force's support. Like, I, I'm glad, like, like but all of these, I'm glad I am glad I got them early. I think I like where Gang Beasts is going. I think Bro Force is a better game right now mm-hmm. than Gang Beasts. I which one? Can, which the one? learning curve on Gang Beast is kind of high mm-hmm. to figure out how to have fun with it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think I've got more Bro Force support than Gang Beasts, but yeah, I'd pick Gang Beasts. Um, you would pick Gang Beasts. Uh huh. They really kind of came on the last quarter of the year, I guess. Um, I mean, I just Bro Force is just more my style. It's just sure. a personal preference thing. It's that's the that's the kind of Bro Force is the game that I wanted to build myself. I would lean towards Bro Force. Okay, I'm okay with w- relaxing on Gang Base. I think it will have its day. And now I can eliminate one. Get rid of Starbound. Okay, um, okay. I like simply based on the I, fact that um, I know exactly what to expect, uh, whereas RimWorld came out of nowhere. Okay, uh, well, I like Destiny there because to the well, to the defense of the AAA beta. The Halo 5 beta was boring. Yeah. Um, no, I understand why you guys yeah. are... Yeah, no, I totally I do. I guess my question with Worm World is, like, how do you feel about their plan going forward? Like, I feel they, very strong about it. I mean, are they communicative? And mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, they're... they're I'm I'll, not going to pull I'll, a Destiny on you? No. Or a <laughs> Space Base DF9, I hope not. I'll talk about okay. Starbound a little bit later. But I, I just really... Rim World for me, in terms of the fact that I play a lot of early access and I really keep my my finger on the pulse, the fact that it just came out of nowhere for me and I just immediately plopped down the money as soon as I saw the 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 footage of it and immediately got my return investment for it is very rare because I've really invested a lot in Starbound and there has just been a big lull. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's until until thought. recently. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, hang out. We're gonna we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Um, so this is I mean Destiny's my that's that's it's kind of head and shoulders I'm 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 totally fine with Destiny winning this because it just beat the fact that it made such a funny face Aaron I did make a funny face he farted I I don't think there's there's, (laughs) the man man that has played the most Destiny made a funny face outside of Jordan I don't think anybody else here really has experienced Worm World so well, like a, a number of things have already been eliminated that I actually played. I didn't play RimWorld. I did play Broforce. I mean, the the excitement I think that you have for RimWorld, I feel eclipses the excitement I had for Destiny. That's fine with me. I mean, honestly, yeah. they. I mean, that's fine. And so I guess I, I feel I, funny about Destiny being yeah. beta of the year. I was year. betting the fucking farm after the beta, so the beta was great. I honestly <laughs> wish that this was separate. It got me excited, yeah. I really wish these were separate categories. My beta categories. experience could not have been better. But I guess we said earlier about like you can't, well, you can't wait to play the final product. I guess that was true of yeah. the Destiny beta. I couldn't wait to play the final I product. I drop five hundred dollars. Yeah. It's really, it's <laughs> yeah, you couldn't. It's really hard. I spent thirty on Wormworld and and. Came out okay, not five hundred dollars short. Thirty dollars on that? Oh yeah! Wow! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> He's only a fan of games for like frugal. $3 frugal Jason time. spent thirty dollars on something. Yeah, I haven't paid thirty dollars for like a big full release. Game. All right, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still thirty. Okay. I, I think Jordan we're prefers o- free to play games. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think Rim World gods do, but I say I think we're okay with Destiny. I am. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Rim, I'm over. Rim, it, yeah. Rimworldgame.com. Check it out. Funny face retracted. 
Early access beta of the year goes to Destiny. Hey, it won a positive award. Good job, Destiny. What it wasn't. Finally. And runners up, uh, RimWorld and Broforce. Yep, $30. Or if you want your name, forty-five dollars. This category kind of made me sad. There was a little. You didn't less want your name? There's a little less going on than I. I can. Expected. I can just change it. You <laughs> okay. can just change your. Oh yeah, you can. You can just, you can you just can name up. your character. Oh, but I, I really think next year we should try to maybe split that in half and see what happens. Next up is the co-op game of the mm. year. Not as I'm not as big of a year people. for co-op. No. I, I don't think. Mm. But um, still, we've got the Jackbox, Sunset Overdrive, which I think the. The only guy that's played co-op is no longer here. <laughs> Gauntlet. We had fun with that. Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Mm -hmm. nope. P-sequel. Wrong, wrong, wrong place for that hyphen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. You're going insane. Destiny. Titanfall. You know, this, those, those couple games. Diablo 3. Reaper of Souls. Stop! You've you've heard these games before. Nope. Earth Defense Force. Stop. Sticks. Stop. Fergus. <laughs> Fergus. Fergus. Uh, any other recommendations? Uh, I guess my question would be the Far Cry for co-op. That seemed new, but did they make they had mess with that? They had co-op in three. Just nobody played. Yeah, it. there was co-op in three. There's co-op in four. Jason and I talked about playing it, but we okay. just haven't gotten around right, to it. Can't speak to it. So, so I can't the, talk about it. Is yeah. the co-op a different storyline like it was in three or is it the same i think it's just the same i think it's just one person leads right hmm. uh i, I thought they were like herc you could, i know you can do the herc missions yeah. co-op but but i think that's that what like I'm, you were playing then i just joined in it would only count towards you and that's quite possibly yeah true. i think that's what the, i think that's what it is okay uh anything to add Mar Mario, Mario Kart Mario co-op? Kart? You don't really, you don't really yeah, co-op really, Mario Kart. I mean, you can do it's more like competitive. Races. It's like yeah. it's more it's, of the competitive yeah. multiplayer. And we've got a multiplayer. Yeah, yeah we've got competitive a multiplayer. Yep. Um, okay. Can't think of anything. Let's see. <laughs> Shot, In that aspect, you can kind of cut Towerfall because it's not so really co-op either. It's Towerfall is not on there. Or not Towerfall, Titanfall. Titan. Okay. Titanfall, Titanfall is just multiplayer. Okay. Yeah. It's got a like, it's the horde mode kind of thing. Is that enough? But it's still just like all right, team multiplayer, isn't it? Okay. It's not really. No one's going to really. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, no one's going to vote for it. So. <laughs> um, cutting Sunset Overdrive because I just haven't had any dr a draw to play it. And like I said, no one's else is What's really Jackbox? Here. So what is Jackbox? Is that Cole? Did you guys play Jackbox? Yeah. yeah, Jackbox is like a collection of games. It's not really co-op because they're kind of competitive. But um, it's the like you don't know Jack series, Fibbage, and everything like that. Are I think any it, of them co-op? It's co -op? more served on the uh, couch local multiplayer than okay. co-op. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm. S I feel like we're the only people on the plane that enjoy planet that enjoyed Gauntlet. Yeah, I think but that we was are. a good time. So it was right. a fun time. Yeah. I uh, mean, okay. co-op is the way to play Destiny, right? It is, but it's still not. It doesn't make it the game of the year. Yeah, it won't be the game of the year. It makes it. All right. It makes it. It makes it more fun to play, but it doesn't <laughs> make it awesome. I was just, as I was cutting it, I was like, I, I'd rather play Earth Defense Force. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, Jordan, you played Gauntlet with yeah, just random people, right? Yeah. How was that? It was all right. It was um, all right. Was he, got, he got some numbers. <laughs> made some friends, yeah. got some numbers. I mean, I, I only played it for like a week after that, and then it kind of it just it fell off. But yeah, it was all right. It. I would have rather played like a like a Destiny type game co op than than a Gauntlet style game. That's why after a week, okay. I only played it a couple of times. So put Destiny back up. So like, Earth, <laughs> so I would say, I guess uh, with what's up there, I would rather play Earth Defense Force co op. I, I would, I'm, yeah. I'm leaning towards cutting cutting Gauntlet. I will cut Gauntlet. Gauntlet. And I think Gauntlet and Diablo three are probably. Was that a will or a won't? Those, I will. Okay. God, I, I, I won't. will. I'm gonna reach over there and <laughs> cut Gauntlet. Yeah, yeah. I would. The I bottom will sooner three. burn my Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our our finalists here. That was quick. I okay, would, I vote for EDF. Jesus, Christ. yeah, I do too. EDF. Yeah. Okay, okay. I've never played. The EDF. only problem with that is it's kind of awkward to get into co-op games. But but once you're but in it, it actually works this this yeah, time. It's also like sixty dollars. I don't know. That's is good. Dumb, that's good. Dumb fun. I'm okay. Good dumb fun is what co-op is all about. Unless yeah. Borderlands made an improvement to the co-op. 
game, or did they just keep on? I don't think on? they did. Bor- no, Borderlands the pre sequel was Borderlands two, just with a few additions or changes that Borderlands. It's in space. Pre- it's in space. You, you jump higher. Jump. You can slam. You can play basketball, Mister Borderlands. Basketball, Mister Borderlands. Are you gonna let me give an award to Earth Defense Force? Fuck no. Diablo three <laughs> Reaper of Souls <laughs> is the <laughs> game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> that is my real vote. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it got hot in here. I'll, I'll, come, I'll come back from my... Ouch. We're going to have our Animal Crossing moment. <laughs> Justin's going to get smacked. Because uh, I can't argue with that. Because like, I, I have hesitations about Earth Defense Force. Like I can't recommend that game widely. <laughs> like it's like, But it's who we are. Oh, for this group, yes. <laughs> yes. And that's, that's, what, why, this, that's, that's why what this is all about. I am Diablo 3. <laughs> we, we marathon Diablo EDF. 3. Oh, we marathon Reaper of Souls, and like I said, the improvements that game made, it's significant enough that... Um, yeah, that marathon day was okay, super here, fun, super loot. I I played with... I didn't play with strangers, but I played with random friends for Reaper of Souls, and I didn't do that with the other one. Like, I was I was okay with the way, uh, for whatever reason, just the improvements it made, so... Um, and if other games hadn't gone the way, I'd, you know, I could just be playing Diablo right now, so... Okay. I'm okay with Diablo... But how many Earth Defense Force people do we got? So three. Cole, I'm I'm on the Diablo train. So it's three yeah. to three. <laughs> call Josh. I had a, had a uh, lot don't of call Josh. This year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I didn't play Diablo, so no. you know. and I don't like Diablo. Yeah, that's Go, fine. going like to Diablo. my tiebreaker. The vote. Yeah. Who voted? Di- Diablo. That's fine. Diablo. Oh, I got more votes. Yeah. So Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, yeah. our co-op game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Earth Defense Force 2025 All making right. a strong showing. Um, <laughs> For some reason. I tried, Josh. I tried. <laughs> Borderlands Should have been here, Josh. It would have won if he was here. <laughs> yeah, this no, is what happens. If he was here, no, yeah. No, 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 no. What would have happened is if Diablo 3 got the heat that it did, he would have been pushing for Marvel Heroes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, and the Borderlands pre-sequel because, yeah, the, uh, guess what? They figured out co-op. A little bit. Oh, I, actually, excuse me. That's Borderlands 2, the pre-sequel, correct? Yes, oh, actually. I've, no, it's. I think it's literally just Borderlands, the pre-sequel. I think it's called the pre-sequel. Yeah, there's no it's two. Not two. But it's really two. It's the... It's in between one and two. I know, but it's just really two. I see what you're saying, yeah. but that, that's not the title. <laughs> yeah, the title doesn't oh, have a two in it. This is a professional sh- show, guys. Get it right. That's all right. All right. <laughs> People are listening For the and, first and learning. Time. Go play Alien. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time in a long time, I'm actually excited for our mobile game of the year category. Crossy Road next. <laughs> and <laughs> WWE Supercard. <It's> three. <laughs> and this is the first year we where we said, hey, Vita and 3DS are thrown in with... The phone games, so because they have to. Yeah, I think because too many people own them. Well, I just think the games have improved on the on on the phone side. So, um, not I, was, I was speaking to Vita, but <laughs> Monument Valley, Hearthstone, Uh-oh. Grand Theft Auto Five, <laughs> Shovel Knight, <laughs> <laughs> the mobile version, <laughs> San Andreas. We can put that it's on like there. the same. Oh, God. Three. <laughs> Threes. There's a GTA uh, walkthrough that you can. So do Shovel Knight on Vita. Shovel Knight was on 3DS. Oh, 3DS. Yeah, I've got oh. it on 3DS. WWE Supercard. <laughs> God. <laughs> I've got a lot. Man, I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot of positive stuff about it. Crossy Road. Wayward Souls. Hate that game. Any other additions? Can we put the Kim Kardashian game up there? Yeah, nope. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I've heard good things. A lot of people are playing it. Nope. Nothing else? It, it tainted my tablet for far too long. We don't have to. I tried it. We for don't have goops. to get them all. <laughs> Are you sure we don't have to catch well, yeah, them all? I played it. Oh, yeah, so I played it too. Then my wife started making fun of me, and I was like, this was a different kind of game before they branded it with her name on it. Okay, WWE Supercard. That's okay. adorable, but you suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. And they've made a better WWE game video. since then. Honorable so it's one mention. Are you still playing Immortals, Cole? Yeah, you are. No, I've only played a little bit of it, but <laughs> oh, it's, it's real dumb. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> See, check this out. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Honestly, I have to. What is? I'm buying votes here. I have to say, votes. Crossy Road has to be in this top three because Cole yeah, was just want? playing it. Match. Why, why? Oh no, I'm fine. There we go. I think he might still be playing. I think Crossy know. Road and Hearthstone. I'm over again. I think Crossy Road and Hearthstone are in the finals. So I think so. 
What the hell is this so, game? So is, is <laughs> put that, put why, that did I, why was I under the impression on that. that Hearthstone was a PC game? It is. Both. Are, I didn't so it is it cross-platform? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's cross-platform. Platform. It's so, you, huh. so is Shovel Knight. Yeah. So, so is... So you could play PC Luke players Browsers. on via mobile? Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I play it much more on that's my pretty Im- That's pretty impressive, yeah. actually. Yeah. I like the fact that I can fucking play on my tablet. Right. And then... Play all, play computer, all my yeah. PC at the same time. Right. Like, <laughs> so on your on your tablet, you can play somebody on a PC. Yeah, two games no. going on yes. at once. Well, yeah, you, can be you just play anyone. But I was saying, like, I could like pause my game on my tablet and rejoin it on my computer. Oh, that's so, pretty badass. Yeah. yeah. But no, the t- I mean the tablet is is the selling point of Hearthstone to me. So, um, what's our third game? WWE Supercard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> put it. Uh, in so, it? I think I think awesome. Wayward Souls is out. I think Wayward Souls is out. Yeah, I quit playing it. Um, Three Shovel Knight Monument Valley. I think Monument, you. I Monument think Valley's wait. probably out. Yeah, we'll they say, charge for DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is? Them. Oh, okay, never mind. We talked <laughs> about threes earlier. So puzzle game or platformer? Pla- Heard good things I'd, about the 3D 3DS version of Shovel Knight, but I didn't play. I, it. I, that's what. Platform. That's the one I've got. Yeah, I've and heard. More, I've heard fun. more people talk about Shovel Knight on a mobile. Okay. Platform than we're, we're, anything else. We're in the Crossy Road over threes camp. Sounds like just because you guys keep fucking playing it the entire time. <laughs> well, yeah, Crossy Road's there. <laughs> All right. All right. Fuck math, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jordan's philosophy. It's got to be right, let's, let's, I was, Okay. I was gonna, do, you want, do we want to preview a future conversation? Yeah, I don't know if we need I to mean, talk about it. You don't have to talk about <laughs> it. You just say As much as, as, much as you guys play this shit and as much as Kenny plays it, like... Yeah. And yeah. I still... Yeah, I will... It has to win something. I'm writing it so it's official. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all playing Crossy Road right now. That's true. It's I'll give you that. Of the so year it's, goes not, to it's not... If we're Shovel playing Knight. Crossy Road a, a year from now, uh, I'll, I'll be curious to see what they added to that game. But... Cross, Hearthstone, cr- crosswalks, hopefully. Hearthstone wins our mobile game of the year. Uh, runners up Shovel Knight and Crossy Road. Crossy Road. Uh, that up. does it for our day four award.